Like so many women, Emily Lay has felt the pressure of trying to do it all and do it all perfectly. She's an author, the founder and creative director of a multi-million dollar business, and a busy wife and mom of three. After a while, the pressure of juggling everything became too much for Emily to bear. I decided that I'll hold myself to a standard of grace, not perfection, that I was gonna just be the best I could be and make the important stuff happen. In her new book, Grace, Not Perfection, she shares biblical wisdom and practical steps that will help you simplify your routine and make room for what really matters. Well, Emily Lay is here today. We welcome you to the show. Thank you. Simplify sounds good. Thank you, it does. <laughs> A breath of fresh air. Yes. You know, my daughter-in-law, one of my daughters-in-law and I were talking just this past week about perfectionism because if it's something that you struggle with, mm -hmm. um, we say it's a curse, right. but we kind of feel okay about it. It's one of those curses right. that seems like maybe there's a good side to it. <laughs> right, right. Well, I think that we have all gotten to this place where we feel like it's the norm mm -hmm. to be comparing ourselves and trying so hard to keep up and to portray the image that we have it all together. How did you get out from under that? I mean, you share in the book that, you know, you, you can get pretty frazzled trying to be oh, yeah. on the top of the heap all the time. Oh, all the time. You know, I think I just had to um, implement routines that worked for us, mm -hmm. real tactical systems, um, like doing our laundry every day so that we don't have a giant pile on yeah. Sundays. Now that still happens sometimes. Yes. It's where the grace comes in, yes. it's okay. But finding ways that work for our family so that we can keep the wheels moving. You've got great little tidbits of wisdom, like use what works for you, let the rest go. I mean, yeah. sometimes as women, we almost need permission yeah. to do that. I totally agree. You know, I really feel like we need to support each other as women, yes, as we do. the sisterhood, and say, it's okay. Yeah, we yeah. don't have to have it all together all the time. It's exhausting. And sometimes you're talking about exhaustion, and then you talk in the book about the peril of trying to draw from a dry well. Yes. How do you keep from letting your well get dry so that you can savor life in the moment and the chaos? Right. We have to continually fill our well with the good things, with truth with rest, with good food, mm. with the things that inspire us, like reading. Yeah. Um, that's very important. So often we make sure our kids or the people we love have everything they need, yeah. and we forget ourselves. You know, I laughed as I was reading your book when you talked about getting your closet organized. Right. You, said, you were talking <laughs> about getting rid of things, and you said, get rid of those things that are two sizes smaller than where you are now, yes. because it's a constant judgment of your present state. You right. don't even think, you think you're being practical. You know, right. well, what if I lose and right. I have to think of, I mean, right. you, you, those are the kind of practical things that you say, make it okay to be you. Absolutely, and when there are less distractions, I don't wanna walk in my closet and remember <laughs> the size I was in college. Yeah. I wanna walk in my closet and feel confident and who I am right now, who yes. God made me to be. Yeah, it's also hard when you know most of the most of the hangers are the ones <laughs> that you're waiting to go back to, and then there are three or four at the end that are today. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> every every woman, I think, um, needs a support system. You yes. know, I did, I'm sure men do too, but they don't seem to to congregate with friends like we do in right. the same way. But friends are really important. Very, very. How do you utilize friendships in your life in a way that makes you a blessing and blesses you? I really feel like we um, need a village. Yeah. And they say it takes a village to raise mm -hmm. a child, but I think it takes a village to do life well. Yeah. And that means having friends who support and encourage you, friends that you can pour into as well. Mm -hmm. And when you bring that tribe around you and you all have you know similar hurts, that's beautiful, yeah. you know, and it just empowers us. So you have a successful business. You have three children, do. a busy household. How do you keep all the plates spinning at the same time? <laughs> and I'm sure there are moments when they don't. Oh, absolutely. I give myself a lot of grace and I 
you know, bring help in when I need it. I'm not afraid to outsource. I also have just found um, systems that work. And for me, I use our Simplify Planner to keep track of my days. Talk you know, about that because you, you really did simplify it. Sometimes I open those planners up yes. and I just close them again going, I <laughs> it's one more to-do list. Right, you know? right. I needed a place that would allow me to spill everything that felt overwhelming in my brain and heart onto paper. Mm -hmm. I needed a place to get everything out. And I also needed something that felt like a fresh start. Mm -hmm. So we designed the Simplified Planner very minimal on purpose so that every woman can use it to her needs and to fit her circumstances and her seasons also. And you've kept the focus on four key things, yes. right? Talk about that. So our daily pages, we have a daily and a weekly edition, but the daily pages focus on your schedule, your to-do list, what's for dinner, yeah. and notes. And that's yeah. it. There's nothing else. You know, I felt so released when I heard those four areas because every night when I get home from work, everybody that <laughs> happens to me at my, be at my house goes, what's for dinner? They want to be fed every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't you people decide? <laughs> Another thing you say that I think is so key, it's key to life in general, is savor the circus. You know, Absolutely. you can be frustrated by it. You can use, lose energy over it. You can mm -hmm. rail on about it. But if you don't learn to savor it, you miss yeah. the joy. I believe that there are seasons of life that are not changeable. Yeah. So I have three very small children. That's what it is. But I'm bummed. But there it is. <laughs> and so I have to sit in the yeah. mess sometimes mm -hmm. with a screaming toddler or two. Yeah. Um, with a, a messy house, I have to learn to sit in the mess and let it be. It, okay. Let yeah. it be okay. And sometimes, and I'm sure you have deadlines in what you do with your business, yes. sometimes you've got to put the deadline on hold because somebody yeah. wants to read a book right. and that's the memory. And my, I have a good friend, Rachel Shingleton, who said, um, you can be juggling balls in the air and there will always be one ball that you cannot drop. Mm -hmm. You decide what that ball is and you never drop it. But yeah. be okay if the other ones have to fall down sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So much wise counsel in Emily's book. I just want to say that it's, it's a book for every woman to read, no matter what season of life you're in. Emily, we thank you for being here. Thank the you. book is called, it's just out, hot off the press, called yes. Grace, Not Perfection. Love the title. It's available in stores nationwide. The subtitle is Embracing Simplicity, Celebrating Joy. Who doesn't want to do that? Great to have you here. Thank, thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm.